Blame it on the boogie. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Annie, are you okay? Her pronouns are he and he. Hello, my sensually salted salmons. Welcome back to MK. My name is Jack, and today we're back to entice you with some insightfully improvised insults. Get that pen and notepad ready, Eminem wannabes. She looks like that girl from Bob's Burgers. Well, Joe Rogan does interview a lot of famous people. Whoa, that is a very hairy man. Bro, that's plus 30 light armor. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you look like when you wear leather in Minecraft. Wanna know something you can't unsee? His hair starts where hers stops. Joe Rogan is the embodiment of, dude, like, what if the colors you see, like, aren't the colors I see? Whoa, dude. Honestly, if he wasn't so successful and famous, this is exactly who he'd be. Why do bronies get so upset about being friendzoned? I thought friendship was magic. Ooh. <laughs> Ah, uh, irony. I genuinely didn't know bronies were still a thing. John Mulaney. Looks like a Kennedy family offspring, yet sounds like a 14-year-old boy impersonating a 1970s sportscaster. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Before. After. Dreadlocks Auckland co -Nizid. Bro went from lesbian to Egyptian. <laughs> I'm sure the kid genuinely likes it, okay? Let's let's be easy. Remember when Tim Allen tweeted this? If we evolved from apes, why are there still apes? Oh, Buzz Lightyear. I understand now why you thought you were a space ranger in the first movie. I asked my college professor this same question, and in an hour, evolution was discredited. Adaptation is science. If dogs evolved from wolves, why are there still wolves? Prove me wrong! Why are there still single cell organisms? And how do they get on Twitter? Jake. I won't start partying. YouTuber continues to throw crowded bashes as US death toll passes 154k. Jesus Christ. He looks like the 0.01% of germs Lysol didn't kill. That implies he's the strongest of them. No, the chemicals thought that he was so stupid he would just kill himself before causing any harm. People of Reddit, what is a question you have for people of an opposite gender that you wouldn't say IRL? Guys, when you sit down to poo in the toilet, what do you do with your dangly bits? Do you let it touch the water? Do you put it on the seat? Do you put it on your leg? Oh my god, this is exactly what my girlfriend asked me about last week. I literally had to show her how I put it over my shoulder. I mean, it was a weird bonding experience, but at least she knows now. I regret to inform you that our bits do not hang as low as our self-esteem. Props to Rice Gum for fighting against the stereotypes that all Asians are smart. Ooh, ooh. Someday, I hope my brain is as smooth as OP's. Like a freshly waxed bowling lane, watching thoughts slide into the gutter and miss all the pins. God bless OP's heart. I've never heard an insult sound so sincere and heartwarming. Imagine looking like this and thinking you're the superior race. Dude looks like a supersized minion. Probably has the verbal complexity of one as well. I'm a superior being! Hey, it's Tim Minchin! I'm kidding, don't attack me! I love Bill's hair. It looks like he's standing in front of his own haircut. <laughs> It's not so much what he said, but looking at Bill's face after he said it. Why does your mustache look like the mountains preschoolers draw in their drawing class? They're not drawing mountains, fool. They're drawing him! Here is a picture of my ugly face, because apparently it doesn't matter what you post on this sub. I played you in Skyrim! Rate my professor is really something. Rated awful. I never wore my seatbelt while driving to school because I wanted to die before making it to his class. I'm not sure what to say other than that I'm intrigued by your aspiration to become a DILF. Tell me a joke, your best one. Wanna hear a joke about paper? It's probably gonna be terrible. You're just too good. I'm witty and relatable. Quote of the day. What did the zero say to the eight? I'm not sure what to say other than that I'm intrigued by your aspiration to become a DILF. Ooh, ooh, oh boy, no he didn't. I think that the employee are just having too much fun. Employee, singular. Ah, plural. Subject verb agreement. You, singular. Mom, thanks for putting up with such a pee, -pee head of a son like my brother. Ooh, got you with the old bait and switch. I DJ'd this festival and can confirm that the teenager kicking this guard is over the age of 18 and will be prosecuted and sent to jail. Oh, cool. You got paid to press play. Your name spelled backwards is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Get your name changed for the love of God. King of the D-Bags. Hey, it's this guy. Lamau. He looks like an inexperienced manager at a small-time hotel that's in way over his head and doesn't know what to do with the crazy crowd that shows up on his first night shift. So he just starts talking smack, hoping it's good enough. <laughs> As someone who's worked in hotels, I know someone exactly like this! Oh, that's just such a good definition of him. Wow, oh, I love this. Bro, here's some topless pics. Oh, yeah. In Iowa, the farmers would try to milk you. Please find a shirt. <laughs> I mean, hey, at least he's got something to milk. That's weird. You look really updog in that picture. Huh? Updog. You got that updog look on your face. What the frick? You got the I get no lady and let my dog lick peanut butter off my balls look on your face, dog. Not much, how about you? <laughs> okay, I like male designs, but this show's female character designs kinda suck. Every moment she's on screen looks like a <laughs> It's true! Oh my god, I'm so glad someone else also feels this about Dr. Stone's characters. Honestly, I understand art styles, I really do, but... <laughs> They just look so weird. Palpatine looks like an evil Colin Mockery. It's your friend Palpatine and your pal friend Patine. What's wrong with humans? There's literally just a giant garbage island just floating out in the ocean. Oops, wrong pick. As a straight male, how would you feel about your child having a homosexual school teacher? Who they're around for eight hours of the day. If a gay teacher teaches my child the difference between there, there, and there, I'm good. Jay seems like the kid in high school who'd call everyone a bundle of sticks, but also volunteered to MC the anti-bullying assembly. Guys, we need to understand that bullying's not cool while I tell you in this single pitch that I always stay on. I have no idea how to fix it. Anyway, stick around because at 3am, we're gonna call some bullies and get haunted. Like and subscribe. He looks like a midget that outgrew his midgetness. Oh. <laughs> Oh, why is he wearing one of those cheesy joke shop disguises? We can tell it's you behind the comedy mustache, glasses, and nose. And now you will never unsee it on him ever again. Adele looks like she's been on a Greek island singing ABBA songs for the last year. <laughs> oh, mamma mia, am I right? College students do not have to go in debt to get a degree. They can work their way through like many of us did before the day of student loans. Ma'am, you were classmates with Moses, when college classes cost only a few shekels. This man's eye placement allows him to see Picasso's paintings as regular portraits. <laughs> no! No, don't say that! 4 foot 11, huh? Try again. Not the icebreaker you want to go with. Do better. Keep being a little feminine pup and I'm gonna come over and hide all your stuff on the top of the refrigerator. The monkey's paw. I wish for the ability to switch between normal sight and sight that makes me see all the people that want to have kinky times with me. Granted, you now have the ability to close your eyes. <laughs> God! Destruction 100. Kaboom! You look like if Post Malone went to college. Smart idea, to be honest. Next time I go to the beach, I'm gonna anonymously call the police on every girl that looks better than me. <laughs> you gonna be calling all day. Don't ruin your afternoon. Prince Philip looks several decades younger in latest snaps. He doesn't look a day over rigor mortis. <laughs> Y'all, I'm in class. Kids are working, talking, and whatnot. I hear this. You're like a plunger, always bringing up old stuff. I hollered. What's a phase your significant other went through that drove you up the wall? My wife went through this really weird phase where she'd dress up like herself and act like a huge freaking feminine dog all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why do people stay together when they feel this way? I... <laughs> Lmo, Judge Judy don't even care, y'all. If you were the trophy at the end of my race, I would walk backwards. He seems to be using his brain as just a filler to keep his skull from collapsing. Oof. How are you doing, wee man? Are you a weird looking straight guy or a weird looking gay guy? I tap on your face just to cover it up. <laughs> I'm away to your nana's house. Y'all black girls ain't got nothing on us white queens. Put an H on there and Kobe could have lived. <laughs> Mwah, genius. R.I.P. Kobe. So now we've gone from sexism to racism. Notice how every female employee at BuzzFeed wears a nose ring because no one's willing to put one on their finger. Whenever I'm mad at you, I go on Goodreads and read one-star reviews of your books. My daughter. That's cold, man. It's freaking brutal. Lordy. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. Is Kamal Nanjiani's pee-pee multiple colors? Yes, every shade of your mom's lipstick. 
Sir, please teach me your suaveness. It took billions of years to create this universe. Countless generations upon generation of technological development and advancements in society. We are truly the most advanced civilization in the known universe and the only known place in trillions of light years of empty space. We were blessed with the knowledge of learning and becoming self-aware. But apparently none of this mattered when someone decided to create Fortnite prawn. Why don't you code yourself a hairline on the z-axis instead of only x and y? <laughs> God, I love this subreddit. Do I need to revive Caesar so you can practice using a freaking knife? Don't care what you think, I think he sounds better with a Scottish accent. What is the weight of the biggest poop anyone has dumped? Not in retarded units. And just ask your mom how much you weighed at birth. Adam is the kind of guy to drop off his wife to her boyfriend's house. <laughs> Ben Shapiro, the type of guy to remind the teacher to check last night's homework. How can you say that? Oh, you fool! You've awakened him! Quackity is that kind of guy who can be 13, 20, or 35 years old. He's the guy for every girl, no matter her daddy issues. Ian is dressed like he traffics illegal iguanas on side to pay for his French rifle addiction. <laughs> Addiction! R slash hittable faces. This lard ass looking mother flipper. This man about to show me my vault at Gringotts. Do 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 Jewish stereotypes. The two guys hosting this vid have the likability and charisma of cancer. I mean, it doesn't help they're wearing by far the most boring dress shirts I have ever seen. <laughs> Pizza Karen. I'm literally autistic and every day I feel increasingly not disabled compared to people like this pizza woman. Oh yes, the hacking subway lady. Oh, she's my favorite. At this point, this isn't a Karen. This is a Betty. Aw, oh, don't do Betty dirty. Until Betty White is gone from this world, you will respect that name, sir. I genuinely enjoy interacting with 98% of you all. 2% of you, however, suck so much booty that your mouth has physically turned into a booty hole vacuum. Nay, you have become an entire booty hole <laughs> Just a vile, gaped pit of poop flowing freely forever. <laughs> Much love to the 98% today. R slash pickup lines. Did you like bubblegum? Cause I have something else pink that's gonna go in your mouth hard and dry and come out soft, wet, and sticky. This is a good pickup line if you're 12. You're free to use it when you're picking up 12 year olds. Freaking hell dude, I've just been murdered. Nice. Thank God, I'll let the children know it's safe to play outside again. Don't kill, killing spree. R slash frick you Karen. This Karen who works at 7-Eleven after an at-risk customer complained that she nor other customers were wearing masks. She looks like the type of woman to bite your pee pee while sucking. <laughs> Jeez, even God's had enough of Karen's. He's literally making her fade from existence. Brought to you by the Science Foundation. Heaviest objects in the universe. Sun. Neutron star. Black hole. Girls on Tinder who say must be over six foot. Boys should then reply, do you have <laughs> bigger than a football? I mean, they do, but they're more like school owned footballs that have been kicked around by kids for a decade or two before getting popped on the edge of a fence. <laughs> Oh, that's a terrible analogy. <laughs> Men always think I take my glasses off during kinky times so they don't get damaged, but really, I just don't want to see a PP in high definition. You might need your glasses on to see mine at all. <laughs> Ooh, self burn. Those are rare. Can always rely on Nikocado to tell me that, hey, at least I'm not eating this much junk food. This guy is eating McDonald's so often, his hairline is shaped like their logo. Oh, that's worse than a bad diet. It's genetics. Middle of the night kinky times. The kind where you wake up entangled in each other and no words are spoken. Caresses turn into kisses, and kisses turn into passion. I'd just be happy if she stopped freaking snoring. She's like an asthmatic yak drowning in custard. Wow, that is an imagination and a half. 6x9 is the kind of guy who cancels his doctor's appointment because he was sick. Well, you don't want the doctor to get sick, you see. I mean, <laughs> doctors are pretty important. They help people who are sick. You don't want to make him sick. A word from the Holy Crusader. Your PP is smaller than the X on literally every mobile game ad, you freaking sinners. Coronavirus <laughs> has halted the release of new Cardi B music. Every image I see Cardi B in, she always looks like someone just taught her how water works. Oh my god, no way. Drink it again. W where does it go? Medusa? Can't be Medusa. At least Medusa makes me hungry when I look at <laughs> uh, <laughs> This is the first thing on Reddit I have actually audibly laughed at. Oh look, someone on the internet no one knows about. I apologize to my FBI agent who had to watch this with me. The Avector isn't real. The Avector. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. 
<laughs> now listen here, you oblong freak cake. I will extend your neck above the average human height limit. No girl has actually seen a picture of a man holding a fish and thought, he has a lot of talent and skill and seems really adventurous and fun. I would like to have sex with him. So maybe let's stop doing that. No man has ever seen a selfie of a girl with star freckles and butterflies around her face while wearing a halo and 16 different color gradients around them and thought, boy, is she pretty. Okay, but to be fair, this isn't her dating profile. Though still an excellent burn nonetheless. If anything, a man holding a fish means he'll be into you regardless of your smell. Just saying. Today's fan art is by someone you don't know. Yes, you are. Now it's their first time making fan art, so be gentle. Ooh wee, sketch galore. I feel like I'm meant to make some creative insult based on the subject of today's video, but I, I, I suck at that. I'm sorry. All you can get from me is just genuine happiness for your work. I'm sorry, someone you don't know. <laughs> I failed you. Remember, if you'd like to see your work posted on the channel, be sure to submit it via the MK subreddit. Now that does end us for today. Thank you again for watching. As always, if you noted down any of these insults today to use in the future, make sure you like this video as payment for our services. And be sure that you have subscribed and clicked that notification bell so you're always updated on the latest of insults. While you're at it, make a creative comment insulting me. I'm curious. That and also check out some more videos while you're here on the channel. But with everything said, my name has been Jack. You've been an amazing person to ramble at today. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!